controversy. Um, controversy came about after uh, several shows of having group exhibits here at Gallery Sewell. And um, it was basically a group of artists getting together and discussing what we can do for you know, a next group show. And Cora and I decided to do something with controversy. At first we were thinking about doing war, but then we thought, well, you know, war is so played out, so many people do war, and then it just limits it to this one issue. And we thought there's so many other issues, and they're so controversial because people can't agree on them, just like the war. We figured, well, let's just do a show on controversy and just call it that. I chose to do, uh, well, very frankly, a painting of the Pope masturbating. I just really wanted to sort of express something that would not necessarily shock people, but make people take a second take on some of their own uh, feelings about the way society views religion in general. I thought about the police and experiences that I had with the police and, and having family members that work in law enforcement. So I thought that was, that was kind of a bit of a challenge. So I challenged myself and I challenged, um, wanted to challenge others. Years ago, I had done this with the needles as uh, I am a diabetic and a dear friend of mine who had AIDS said you should use all of your medical supplies. They're interesting and uh, they're shocking. He has since died, passed away of AIDS and um, so I had this whole idea of this triptych. It took me almost seven years to do the other two and put the whole pieces the puzzle together. In my piece that you see here is uh, cadenas y clavos, which, uh, which means chains and uh, nails. Basically, the chains represent the, the bounding of, of, a, of the man, basically of a gay male, as being as a gay artist myself. And basically, my painting shows a lot of representation of the chains, bounding, holding. The nails are basically the, showing the pain, basically what, uh, as, uh, as a human, as a society, we go through. So George Carlin had died the night before, so I was already upset and, you know, I was going, you know, he's such an important figure, so then that night I thought, what perfect person to do than to pay homage to the, the man of controversy, you know, this comedian who did things based on controversy, right? So I thought, okay, well, my homage, my painting is going to be George Carlin. So that's where I, I did it that night. And the next day I turned it in for the show. Well, as I was going through the ideas for a few weeks, I spent kind of, first I, I was in the military, I was in the Marines, so it, there's already a tie there. And I thought about the way people are talking about um, war, about people going over and doing other missions in other countries. And then I thought about what individuals' personal opinions might be. Um, I also kind of had in the back of my mind the the way that the candidates are using it. You know, sometimes they're using it for, sometimes they're using it against, and they're kind of just making choices both directions. Uh, the, the reason I choose these pieces to be on the show is because it's, it's they write up to what's going on right now with with politics, you know, with the elections, and also um, I'm commenting about the, uh, you know, the scandal about the uh, Catholics and the sex abuse and all of that kind of controversy, you know, themes. So I thought it was really uh, a great opportunity to show this kind of art for this show.